Welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily Devotion as we continue in our series, Praying Together. This series is loosely based upon the book and course, The Prayers of Many, by Mike Betts. And during this series, we want to learn about the importance of corporate prayer. Today's devotional is entitled, God, Our Primary Goal. Let's read from 2 Kings 3, 16 to 18. He said, Thus says the Lord, Make this valley full of trenches. For thus says the Lord, You shall not see wind, nor shall you see rain. Yet that valley shall be filled with water, so that you shall drink both you and your cattle and your beasts. This is but a slight thing in the sight of the Lord. He will also give the Moabites into your hand. In summary, in praying together, we must have knowing and loving God as our primary goal and not the things that we want God to do for us. In praying together, we must have knowing and loving God as our primary goal and not the things we want God to do for us. What are the good things, I wonder, that you want God to do for you? There are many really good things that God wants us and invites us to pray for, personal things and and corporate things. It's easy, though, to make these things idols. If our joy in God is dependent not on him but on these things, they may have become idols to us. In the text that we've been looking at this week from 2 Kings 3, they're told to dig ditches that God would fill with water for them to drink in the desert. And we have seen that this this can be used as an illustration for praying together and God answering our prayers. What is the water for you? Is it healing? A relationship, money, promotion, revival. Surely this water that satisfies in the desert is firstly God himself. Knowing and loving God is to be our primary goal and not the things that we want God to do for us. Matthew 6, 9 to 13 is a template for prayer and it begins with worship. It begins with our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In prayer, we are to pray for our needs, but it begins with worship and aligning our hearts with God. God is to be our first love and healthy God-centered prayer helps to maintain this in us. I'm sure that we can all see that if we pray or read the Bible simply out of habit or guilt or because we just want a happier life, we're in in a dangerous place. This is what we read in the first two of the Ten Commandments from Exodus 21 to 6. And God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven or on earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Michael Reeves challenges us on the state of our zeal for God. In his book, Authentic Ministry, he writes this about our pursuit of Jesus, how this is to be our first goal. He writes this, Sometimes we find ourselves tiring of Jesus, imagining that we have seen all there is to see and used up all the pleasure there is to be had 
in him. We get spiritually bored, but Jesus has satisfied the mind and heart of the infinite God for eternity. Our boredom is simple blindness. If the Father can be infinitely and eternally satisfied in him, then he must be overwhelmingly all-sufficient for us in every situation for all eternity and that's why the gospel is not lacking because he is not lacking. So in response, pray up before down and out. When praying together, we must prioritise knowing and loving God over asking God to do things for us. As a norm, let's begin by praying up through worship and thanksgiving. Let's regularly pray for the Spirit to deepen our knowledge and experience of the love of God. It's good to pray down for our needs and for the needs of others, for the needs around us and out, for those outside of faith. But let's start by pursuing God himself. We're all prone to making idols of ourselves. Even the things we pray for and good things can become idols to us because they can become more important than God, God himself. We can make idols of created things and John Calvin wrote, the human heart is a perpetual idol factory. At a recent conference, Dave Holden spoke about the importance of leading and living out of worship. He said, worship is about magnifying the Lord. When we don't worship, we magnify something else. So may God himself be our first goal in praying together. God bless you.